Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, the seventh and final king of Rome. His reign was from 535 to 509 BC. He was the son of the fifth king of Rome, Tarquinius Priscus and Tanaquil. His wife was Tullia, a daughter of the sixth king, Servius Tullius. Lucius seized the throne by the overthrowing of Servius Tullius, which he did, urged on by his wife. He went down to the Senate House with armed men and sat on the throne. He then called a meeting of all of the senators. He convinced them that Servius Tullius was a bad king, and Servius was then killed in the streets later that day. When he first took the throne, he refused to allow the burial of Servius Tullius, which earned him the name Superbus, which means proud or superior. He then repealed many of the reforms to the constitution made by the previous king. After this, he made his own reforms to set up depositism, or a government where a single person has absolute power. While doing this, he killed many, many senators and left their seats empty, so that there was no senators that would argue with his decisions. Not much later, he called together the Latin rulers of the world to discuss the bonds between Rome and the Latin cities. At this meeting, Ternus, one of the Latin leaders, expressed his distrust of Tarquinius to the other leaders. Tarquinius heard about this, so he plotted to kill Ternus at this meeting. So he had his men put swords and other weapons in Ternus's house to be able to accuse him of starting a coup. He then called together all of the leaders and accused Ternus of planning the coup. Tarquinius brought them all to Ternus's house and then they found all of the swords. They all thought that Ternus had to be punished. They threw him into a pool of water with a w wooden crate full of rocks around his head. Uh, Ternus drowned in this pool. Uh, this solidified Tarquinius as a very devious king. At the end of his ruling, he was in a war with the Rutili, a very wealthy nation. During a si siege of their capital city, his son Sextus snuck away and raped Lucretia, a noblewoman who then committed suicide. Uh, this led to a revolt that kicked Tarquinius out of the throne. Uh, Tarquinius wanted his spot back, so he gathered support from the cities of Veii and Tarquinii and went to go attack Rome. They fought in the Battle of Silvia Arcia, or the Battle of the Arcia Forest. The Battle of Silvia Arcia, Tarquinius Superbus versus the city of Rome, the background of the battle. Right after Tarquinius had been kicked out of being king, the city of Rome started to elect the consuls to start the republic. Tarquinius Superbus's family was from the Etruscan city Tarquinii, so Superbus went there and to another Etruscan city, Veii, and gathered up their support to go fight Rome and reclaim the throne. It was between the ragtag Etruscan army of Tarquinius Superbus and the trained army of the city of Rome. Rome had the better cavalry, while the Etruscan army had the better infantry. Even though the city of Rome had the lower quality men, they compensated with numbers. The cavalry of the Etruscans were led by Aruns Tarquinius, Tarquinius Superbus's son, and the city of Rome's cavalry were led by Lucius Junus Brutus, who was Arun's cousin. They both saw that the other was leading the cavalry for the other side, and they both charged directly towards each other. They both impaled each other and died. This battle ended with many casualties of the Etruscan cavalry and many casualties for Rome's infantry. This battle ended all chances that Tarquinius Superbus had of ever becoming king again.